explanation of I.E. Uh, Richard Branson. Give me your philosophy there. Well, Richard loves what he's doing. He clearly doesn't work for the, He doesn't need the money, does he? So he's doing it because he loves doing it. And some of the richest people in the world, like Warren Buffett, who, is, who was the richest man in the world, who gave most of it away, um, and Steve Jobs, who ran Apple, you know, they do it because they love it and not because they have have to. Mm -hmm. And they all, all started out doing the thing for fun. I mean, St um, Richard Branson made no money out of his first one or two projects. One of them was a charity thing, and one was a student newspaper that didn't really uh, ever quite take off in the way he planned. But that gave him the experience to try other things that really did work. You, you talk about kicking off your, your play project. Can you be specific mm. about how one does that? So choose something that you want to do, but which has a tangible outcome. So create a website or run an event for the first time or help somebody. If you want to you know, provide somebody with a service, then do it for a friend for the first time. Do it within three or four weeks and have something to show for it at the end. Take a photo of what you did, get a testimonial or build something you can actually physically show to people. And that way you're not just dabbling, you're not just doing a hobby. You've got something you can say, look, I did this. And then you can go and try something else. And often that will lead on to, you know, I, I got the last three jobs I ever had uh, were all created from scratch. And they're often because I'd done something interesting that led up to it that was outside of my work. Okay, and so, that's a good, uh, so to go to. and your work, you're, you know, you help people with their careers as a life coach. So you're yeah. doing what you love. And when did that start? I started, uh, it's been a gradual process, so I transitioned from a full-time job in a big consultancy into contracting, so it gave me a bit more spare time, uh, during which I built up some other stuff and I trained in coaching and in therapy. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing it for four years altogether now. And I think that's, you, you can do it in phases, you don't need to make this big leap if you mm. don't want to. Small increments. Uh, well, congratulations on the book, and thank yeah. you for giving us a little bit of an insight on how we can be happy, wealthy, and doing what we're doing and uh, paying the rent as well. Good morning, John Williams. Thanks, Kerry Ann. Okay, coming up on the show, did Ida Buttrose and Kerry Packer have a romance? Mm -mm. Inside, there's a new drama everybody is waiting for called The Birth of Cleo. Also ahead, Jamie hits the streets of London with the paparazzi.